Hey, hey there, Pisces. This is Joy with Joy of the World here to take in into to peek into the energies going on around you. Friends and subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, click that subscribe button, ring the bell. They'll notify you anytime I post new videos. Also, if you find you like the content we provide here, give us that big thumbs up, like and share. Get the word out about Joy to the World. We're shaking things up here and bringing in a world that's bright, bold, and beautiful and amazingly made for you. Okay, friends. Also, for the donations that have been sewn in, man, it's feeling a lot like Christmas up in here because I got two new decks coming in and they're both about to be used in your reading. I just opened this right before I began recording and I can tell you they are acting up. And I could think that's a problem, but I was like, ooh, okay, because they were misbehaving and trying to put out lots of information and they were saying, when you can't control something is when you learn the greatest lessons, when you grow the most. And I was like, well, you're totally right. Because often we're trying to manipulate and control situations so that um, we're using the intelligence that we've already gained. But this is a whole new day and a whole new way, a whole new thing coming in because of the earth. I know that's the moon, but the moon is a reflection of the sun and what is really going on. The earth is in between, right? And it's bringing about this new day, this new way. We're already shifting the harmonics of the earth to match that incoming air energy, that 200 years. So you began to float and vibe with this, with your guide and your spirits and with your true spirit soul and you start to get on page and in the cycle and get set up for the next 200 years being able to operate out of your truth as opposed to the reality our reality should be crafted from our truth okay so anyways thanks for donations new stuff here and more to come so along with that they're talking about mm, we can step straight in here with you boo ho this has changed the way you see things and if you look closely those are moths over her eyes there's something she's not wanting to see and that was that's kind of what they were entering with right malls have to do with the night but they also have to do with death destruction i'm a gardener that's how i know beautiful nighttime moth but it makes the hornworm and the hornworm if you like tomatoes is not your friend although they are amazingly beautiful they can do their job somewhere else it's not in my garden right what i know is what's up to me and what's right here before me so um that, what I heard playing as I was shuffling earlier is, this is your night tonight, everything's gonna be all right. It was getting on. Da-da, let's all celebrate. So you know what? When we take it off, we take the blinders off and we allow ourselves to see clearly and see things as they truly are, we should celebrate because that is is the new song and the new beginning and it begins to be written and played from there because we're telling our reticular activating system the thing that quickly goes out to find images of what we're harmonizing with and bring it to us to say this is what you're asking for this is what you're wanting to see right right and we're like mm, 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 mm. so you just begin to change yo my when you change your eyes you change your mind look away turn away and be like mm, mm, mm. That might have worked for me before, but that's not who I am now. Thank you for letting me know about that. But new day, new way. It's a way we revolutionize our energy, revolutionize ourselves, And that's very much about what Uranus is about with that dog leg, that kickback. It's, you say you want a revolution. Some of you need to turn some music on and dance. Maybe do a little house clean, a little sweeping out from under your rug, a little cleaning out of them skeletons in the closet. Get it out because that isn't you anymore. Remember, Pisces, there is nothing hidden anymore. You fully embraced yourself, who you are, without all the supports and the doctrine and the plastic surgery, should we say, that, that, the cosmetics. And I'm not talking about your beauty. Your makeup's fine. If you love to wear whatever you use to make it look whatever, they're talking about that soul stuff, that soul fakery, that soul fuckery, that soul trickery, that type of thing, that disillusionment. And here it is a specific choice, a way of choosing to see things you're like well this is what everybody else was doing do you remember when we were younger like pre-teen teen well so and so gets to do it it's like at that point that's when we stuck these malls on our eyes and we're like don't i look fine that's the kind of cosmetics that i'm talking about that's the kind of plastic surgery that i'm talking about it was one that was made of choice thinking well everybody else and we're like mm, you are you and you are fantastic and magnificent and divine and you are perfectly made. So we're going to find out a little bit more about this. Here is where you are at. 
Now remember, I always tell you, baby, you find like wine. Look at that, King of Pentacles. Now this is the Terra de la Nuit. It is a new deck that just came in, but I can see, ooh, you kind of long in the Mars. Lots of like masculine, powerful action going on. Um, some sexual healing going on. Some stirring up of all that. But what I see is that outreach, that overstretch is almost that there's not enough of that going on. There's a lot of it stuck in the mentality, almost like the cogs of your fish have gotten stuck and they need to be greased. How do we lube something that's in the water? They say, get some marine lubricant. And I'm like, all right, buy some jellyfish. What's, I don't know. So let's go ahead and find out. We're going to find out what some of this marine lubricant is that you need to get those cogs flowing again so that you can have that pleasure. You can have that passion connection. All right, that you don't get caught on the outside of your own life, especially with Mars going retrograde, okay, and everything else going on. This too many. Let's be nice and clear about what's going to help. Pisces here, I see you. Thank you, volunteer. Oh, get a hold of yourself and not like that get a hold of yourself. No, get a hold of yourself. It's kind of like that passion. Make yourself happy. You are happy. Satisfy yourself please yourself. And I know that's like got undergirds of like masturbation and stuff like that. But we're talking about the, the way you move yourself as well. You are your creator. You are your leader, your master, your diviner, all of that. If going for a ride makes you happy, go for a ride. You have the permission and you have the power. There's nothing standing in your way is what this is letting me know here. Okay. Especially with being at the King of Pentacles. Now in this case, in this reading, the king is not the pinnacle, P-I-N-N-A-C-L-E, of pinnacles. There's another one that we're about to find out is where you go in. But for now, the harvest is taking yourself in your own hand, rewarding yourself, relishing yourself, because this reward has to do with nourishment, facilitating of your flow, of your milk, of your honey, of that divine life. There's so much, so many promises that you made to yourself that you can begin to fulfill. It doesn't have to be a win then, like putting off until you're worthy enough or deserving enough or good enough, or let me give it to somebody else because that's a benevolent thing to do. Hold up on that roll. Mm -mm. You are worthy. It is your time. It is your hour. So much of what's going on right now is shifting to the self because we are the sun, the center of our universe. And when we get that in balance, it feeds and nourishes and nurtures everything. It is what causes the ellipses to move the planets around. It's what causes that divine dance. So when we want to get ourselves in order and begin to get our instrument tuned, a master can play an untuned instrument and it is going to suck, okay? So we're tuning our instruments is what this is talking about, this jera, this harvest. Now listen up. Okay, friend, beneficial outcome, one year, cultivate, faded, patience, harvest of the self. Ooh, if that's not just what we're talking about right there, you want to harvest yourself. Now to harvest something, you want it to ripen and come into its fullness, that's when you will then go and take hold of it, okay? And when you go and take hold of it, it produces not only for the now and the satisfaction of the now, but in that fruit, in that vegetable, in that thing, that dream, there's also seed for the future. Leave it to pinnacle energy to be so wise and mysterious at the same time. So I think you're showing your very earthy nature here today, Pisces, and I like that. That's creative and crafty. Fantastic. So... Anyways, um, at the top of the deck, because here we're going to use the top to teach us about where you're at right now so that we can get a move on things. And we have the Ten of Wands coming in. It's saying, don't wait too long. Don't hang around on this. You don't have to sit inside waiting for life to come to you. Go out and meet and greet life. Look, you dress for a party. I told you you're fine like wine. You're ready and good to go. So step out into this world. Share yourself with this world. I know with COVID, it, hey, it was stifling for a time. It very much controlling it and manipulating and moving about like an, a rat in a maze, right, of where you could go to get the cheese and, and having to go about for something that wasn't even satisfactory. But there's you're showing me the hand is now laying down that there has been plenty of time to get to know yourself and to begin to temper that energy that was going on there and, and reconnect with who you are in your truth before you sold out to the everybody else. You know, those eyes and you're like, well, what about me? And I'm like, yeah. 
how do you come into your fullness? So it's saying, look out those windows. Look out those beautiful eyes that you have. Look out and see the light. See what is out there and what is calling you. And follow it. Pursue it. Go along knowing that the happiness, the brilliance, the fulfillment, the life is already right here. It's who you are. Okay? Bless yourself. Bless yourself. Okay. So now we're going to step into where you're going. And that's when I told you, generally, I see the aces as trumps. They're, they're the everything card. They're above the whole suit. Okay? Look at you. Your words now have power. Manifest power. What once destroyed you and killed you and robbed you and beat you and pilfered you, and I got to stop them because they could just keep going. So much has gone on in your life that you don't have to pay anymore. It's not about paying your way. It's about permitting yourself, giving yourself permission to enjoy life now. You don't have to be held off or weighed off anymore. Why? Because the pinnacle, the zenith, the key in the lock, it's like you buying the home, signing the papers, going through all that stuff. But there comes that moment that the previous occupants are gone. The key is in your hand and you're opening it and entering in. You're entering into yourself. You're getting behind your very own eyes, your own perspective, owning your life, owning your story, and having no shame. Remember that you were talking a little bit ago about <laughs> sweeping out under from under your rugs, getting that old dirt out, cleaning out the skeletons from your closet. Don't take them to Goodwill, okay? Nobody needs those things. Burn them. Burn them up you know just burn it up leave that behind okay and step into the new you um you know i'm kidding right this is all proverbial we're talking spiritual stuff up in here but that's where your words now have the power you've been through pluto you have been it through uh dark moon lilith you have been through those sort of energies and you've been burnt fried so many times as you were saying through all those iterations that now you're like, I cool with that. I'm chill. I'm cool. I'm fine. And not like, I'm fine. But meanwhile, there was that brooding underneath. Because remember, y'all have been saying, let's turn that fish. Let's get this whole thing going above the table. Let's get ourselves out here in the open and in the free will and in the free air. And that's what I love. That Pisces, who you are, you've now freed yourself from being relegated to when, when, uh, um, you're saying obstance. I mean, I know obstinance, but whatever obstinance, you've been stuck in that, that, okay, obligatory way of being that now you're free. You're free to cycle and move through your whole chart. You're free to be your whole self. And that is the fine tuned instrument. That is you being in your fullness. No longer the blinders, no longer the, the thing that seems all sweet, but destroys all your fruit, you know, because it comes about in the night and it deceives you. Mm -mm, you're like, you're like, you're looking at this and you're like, come at me. Come on. Come at me. This is who I am. I am a grown woman. I'm a grown man. I know myself. I look myself straight in the eye and I encourage myself and motivate myself. I don't have to kick myself in the pants or prod myself. I lead myself forward. I am uncted forward by my my intelligence, by my instinct, by my eyes, by my intuition. Ooh, you talking about them Scorpico eyes. All the eyes lining up that it's no longer just chakras swirling with this color and this energy, but it is these implements, these embodiments of tactility that, that manifest and bring forth the reality, the landing of it, the, the honing of your truth here on earth as it is in heaven. Okay. Now this is the bottom of the deck card that came along to, um, flesh out the Ace of Pentacles a little bit more, and then we're going to back up and, and get one of these other cards over it. It was already talking to me because this, I love it. This tower is the pass. It's already happened. You can see how it's black and charred. And that last little bit of, of the ember of the charcoal is still glowing just a little bit, that oxygen, that life in there. But this has been forged. You've been forged through the fire, and when you forge a sword, a knife, a metalworking, you take it from the fire to the water, from the fire to the water, and in the sword's case, that's what gives it its hardened edge. 
the ability to cut through the bullshit, to get to the truth, to live in your power and your strength. And I love it because more than what's behind here, that's not even the focus. It's the scope. This is the eye and the eye is the wheel. It is your zodiac. It is your birth chart. Remember how I said you were feeling very earthy? That's you being able to get into your tangible, practical, pragmatic form, which for you brings in a lot of balance of some cut into the chase, of it finally being real, taking root, being your turn, bringing about fruit, pleasure, satisfaction, fulfillment, those sort of things, permission, authority. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody's like, woo, woo, pull down that train whistle. We ready to hop on. Okay. Y'all are full of music because there's that one that's talking about um, you don't need no suitcases here. All right, so what do we have with this? Well, definitely, it's opening. This is almost like, like a mouth, like a baby ready to suck and feed. It's like I'm latching on. I am ready to take in my nourishment to facilitate who I am because you're right. I'm worthy of being revived. My words now have power because they are truth. I'm not just talking about some pie in the sky. I lived it. I've walked through this, and I am the reward. I am the prize. I am the proof in the pudding, right? So it's talking about opening, receptive intent, renewed clarity, centered light, merge and radiate. Merge and radiate. So I see her. If you notice closely, there's kind of a wheel shape here, and her face is even that. It's almost like your eyes aren't just your eyes. Your face is like what comes through this circle not that old burnt relic this tombstone and this hallmark anymore it is a person it's not a placeholder it's a person and this is you walking in the fullness of your zodiac in your eye of god in the fullness of your natal chart so that when we have a grasp and a grip on that you're telling me that then we can dance with the planetary energies and now you'll check it out because today when this is being released, also the first Magic Monday should be coming out because the plants are wanting to talk. I don't know if it'll always be the planets and the Magic Mondays, but um, the, the planets will begin to talk soon enough. But for now, they're wanting to talk about the turning of our chart and us getting in that good relationship with them, the communication with them. But we had to come to peace with ourselves. We had to come to peace with our variety, our expression, our equalizer. You know, equalizer, the different tones and sounds are all going like this, the tuning of our instrument, so that when the music is played and comes forth, it has a harmony, it has a symphony, it has a beauty, okay, a, 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 like a calling to it, okay. Ooh, somebody stepping into their calling. Look at you slipping that in on me. Okay, so let's get a little insider info on this. How do I want to do that? We're going to do it with the other new deck. Look, it's the vice versa. I want to show you some. Oh, look at that fool. Here's what the fool, okay? We're getting two perspectives of one thing. So we'll see how this comes out. Some insider out info on this turning of the wheel. Bold and confident. These new eyes, your true eyes, actually. Your true eyes, your I am, right? Tell us about the I am of Pisces. Those aren't moving. Okay. So you're the ones. All right. So we're going to step from that tower, that ace of pentacles, because you are wanting to elaborate a little bit on all that stuff that happened to you. Um, all, all the breaking down, all that you've been through. But that's why your words have power. That's why you're speaking out. So let's definitely go there. It's the ten of swords. And you allowed it to end. That's the most beautiful thing about this card. And that's how we get to an ace is we put ourselves in on the nine and we make it the 10. We make it an even 10. We put ourselves in there and we're like, okay, okay, I accept this. I receive it. I may be burnt, but I learned and now let's go. But it's underneath the water. It's almost like buried treasure. I know this is sore, but this is a lot of Aquarian energy going on here, okay? So, but we're also in an Aquarius moon. We're still finishing that out because we're about to come into the Pisces moon next week sometime. Is that right? Or the following week? Um, no, just next week. But so that could be some of what's going on here is that's when this has been happening. You've noticed it over this last month of really just deciding to be done, like totally done with that 
whatever. And that's why Pisces last week took a little dip back into the lower side and kind of some hidden things and under the table. Why now you're wanting to clear out the last bit of the relics. That's what you're saying is reiterate that joy because this is like a lost sea. All right, a lost sea, a lost treasure. And now being a knight, the knight was dressed for battle. So it doesn't have to do with a war and winning. That is what you thought it was. You thought you had to fight for your right to party. Man, y'all are y'all are flash mobbing me with all this music. You had to fight for your right to party. And it's like, no, you don't. You're the author and perfecter of your faith. You're the one who gives yourself the permission. You are an adult. You have the authority and you have the power to fulfill your own pleasure. Remember all the pleasure that the King of Pentacles was talking about? Y'all been putting me through the things I do for y'all. I love you. <laughs> this Didn't know this was a comedy hour, huh? But that's what you're wanting to do is recover the losses. So I want to I wanna get, I'm seeing this call out. So let's get a little insight into the losses and what's being recovered here about setting our mind on the silver in our consciousness about our heart and what we believe. That's that's what I'm seeing going on. Mm. Okay, there are two. There are two. Deeper knowing and by the book. And Sagittarius have with their by the book, it was they were like, it ain't B-Y, it's B-U-Y, by the book. And this deeper knowing is knowing that you have the power, you hold the pen. Okay, by the book, as if they're jumping off, Sagittarius is flying on in here, and they're talking about by the book, want your life to be an adventure, to be this grand story, but you are the star, so why not? We can change this. Once we've begun to accept our whole wheel, the eye of God, right? Then we begin to navigate. Now that we master our natal chart and we're aware of our natal chart and have tuned our instrument, then we begin to navigate and to move around where the plants are spinning and everything's going right now, like a dance. You're showing me out on the dance floor because that's where you want to go. You can want to go to the ball with Cinderella and everybody else. You're like, but I'm not Cinderella. I already have my person. I have the love. I have me and all, and all them, whoever that is, all them. But that's that deeper knowing is that uh, you are the writer. You hold the pen. Now, if you've never seen the movie, you could check it out, irregardless of who's in it. The movie is very creative, and it's called Stranger Than Fiction. That could give you a little bit of clue into some of this of what you're talking about. But saying you're wiser than you know. You know so much. Remember, you've seen so much and been through so much. Hiding behind those eyes. As a matter of fact, it took you a lot of places you really didn't need to go, but you didn't know. And that's what the channel of joy to the world is about, is removing the blinders of ignorance. Because that's what leads us through the depths of the punishment, of the payment, of feeling like that we have to be good enough or earn the rights or, or to gain the permission. But now you have the key. You have the key to your house. Remember, you have the authority and you have the permission because you see yourself clearly. Okay. You're like, manifesto. So maybe that's the book you're writing there. Okay. And now we're going to take a look at the other one along with it. It's very interesting because this is a three of cups, but it is showing definitely as the star. So it's interesting that we we're talking about be the star of your own story, of your own book. You're like, you're exalting and lifting up this new self. You're really beginning to embrace who you are. But what's neat is these bottom two cups are splashing because it's like the meteors have fallen, you know, where we wish upon a star. They've fallen and they've landed in the cups and they've cooled off. Just like the, um, just like this, the forging, the new stars. Okay, so two new planets. You let me know. You've embraced two new planets and you're lifting up another one and embracing it. How interesting. I wonder what planets those are. I'm sure they're different for each of us. Well, there are two fruits down here on the bottom. And there are two fruits there. So you've mastered the milk and honey. You've dealt with Pluto because I see that back behind you. And the star is here, so that's Aquarius. So who, who is that? So that has to do with harvest. Okay, so we're talking about, so that's, August, September, but that's probably mid, late August. Okay, so we're talking about Virgo. And then Virgo and Libra. All right. So it's the uncovering, the unveiling, the continuing to remove the blinders off of these new seasons and experience them with fresh new eyes. That's what you're talking about here. And then uh, getting to that milk and honey, which is very much about the winter. 
I'm coming through that flow of being able to revisit and enjoy all the rewards of the work that you've been doing through these uh, late spring, summer months since the channel began, which thank you for tuning in here. And um, so, you know, you could you could do this. The, the birthday videos are put out for each sign during their season. Take a look at the Virgo one. Take a look at it. And then take a look at the Libra one because you're wanting to talk about the fruits. Well, the fruit is it's your birthday. It's your birthday, right? That's that's when we get presents. That's when we get P-R-E-S-E-N-T-S, -E -E right? Yes. But we also get P-R-E-S-E-N-C-E. -E -E. And this body, this star really has to do with your presence. Remember about you embodying yourself. That's the power and the permission. So I would say check those out. You know, of course, uh, Libra isn't out yet. It'll be in at the beginning of Libra season in that first week. But the, the Virgo one is definitely out there. All right. So I want to get a card on that. Who wants to talk? Okay. Let's get a pearl. It's pretty clear. But let's just see if there's anything else wanting to reveal itself. Gabriel, talk about a pearl. Look, he's got the pearl over his throat. I love it because that's the white coming in with the red. Remember how you've got the red magic going on here that your words have power because you've lived through it through the sheer determination, through the blood, sweat, and tears. You made it all the way through. And now that you open your eyes and the harvest, you embrace yourself. It's coming in and being a pearl. So not only do you have that empowerment of having been a survivor? You're going to become a thriver. You're going to become a, um, a testament and a testimony, not just the words that come out, a living example, an emblem of the beauty that you embody and embrace. Because to me, beauty is both male or female. Beauty is, is like the exaltation. Remember that cup that you're lifting up? the uh, exaltation of our integrity because integrity is something that standards that we live by and I'm always going to have my character and whatever but remember up above this we got the king of pentacles and the ten of wands coming in about living it being in it having the fullness of that pleasure not just looking like we have it and demanding it and commanding it and doing it all official that's like the packaging and the paper of a gift right this what Gabriel is showing us here is what is inside the wrappings and the trappings Remember, because you like ain't nothing under my rug anymore than anything in my closets. My world is ready to receive love and to open up to the fulfillment of who I am. Okay. I'm excited about that. And here's where we're going. The outcome, the assimilation of all this information for Pisces here and all the beautiful work and journey you've been doing and sharing with me. We got justice. Look at that golden helmet on your head. The golden knowledge, the self-assurance, the confidence. These are things you cannot buy, you cannot purchase. They, they are specifically made and woven with every day, every dream, every moment coming on through. And you're like, every dollar. Yeah, that soul food, right? Going on there. And you do hold the pen. Do you see that? That pen, that's right before your eyes. And the justice is, it is right here. Front and center star of your show by the book the deep knowing of self the complete knowing of self that you're more than a survivor you are a liver a liver of life someone who enjoys and embodies who we are and what we came here for right that's the beauty of it you embrace yourself you embrace your whole self and your experience as well but not only that where you're able to craft create and go from here you have your eyes set on the prize you are the prize but it's even more of that is that the opening of oneself as we continue to journey forward remember in the fullness of the cycle and the circle like you behind the wheel now remember you're the eye you're the like the one driving it you're at the wheel at the helm man my brain is just like growing the stuff that y'all tell me and contracting at the same time it's breathing and going with all this information, wisdom you share. That is something, Pisces. I'm going to stay on the other side with you guys and gain this wisdom that you shared with me here today because I'm just the microphone, right? I appreciate you sharing it, tuning in and catching up. Also, be sure to check out the Magic Monday. And for some of you who feel led by your spirit, check out that Virgo happy birthday reading. Hey, we'll talk again soon. Love you. Bye.